We've been watching all season long, hoping Amy Purdy could dance away with the Mirror Bowl trophy, but she came up just a little short. I know, the hometown <laughs> hero. Unfortunately, the gold medalist will have to settle for second. Not too bad in this competition. Purdy routinely wowed judges this season, scored a nearly perfect 89 out of 90 over the course of the two-night finale here on ABC. That one missed point cost them the trophy as Olympic ice dancer Meryl Davis danced her way to a perfect 90. We've been following Amy's progress all season long. But she's also had another local fan mm -hmm. club rooting along with us. Lauren Johnson's live in studio with that story. I'd say second place is still pretty incredible. And this is Amy's second big win this year after she won the bronze at the Paralympics in Sochi. The Hidden Springs community gathered tonight to watch their hometown hero perform on Dancing with the Stars at the Dry Creek Merc. Amy Purdy's parents live in Hidden Springs but are in Los Angeles tonight and watch their daughter perform as one of the three finalist couples. Amy is the first double amputee to compete on the mega hit show and her Boise neighborhood, inspired by her story, came together to cheer her on. We're so excited about her journey with Derek and how good she's done and, and it's just really exciting to be a part of this. Amy lost both of her legs after having bacterial meningitis when she was 19. After weeks in the hospital, she and her parents made the hard decision to amputate both legs. And you can see there were a lot of kids there tonight. One of my favorite moments was when a mom told her child she'd be right back because she had to go vote in tonight's primary. And the child responded, make sure to vote for Amy. Live in studio, Lauren Johnson, Today 6 on your side.